Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss about common table expressions, okay? And this particular concept will surely help you to write complex SQL queries, right? So first let us try to understand what is CTE, okay? So CTE is a standard SQL feature, okay? What is the meaning of standard SQL feature? That is, it is not specific to Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse Platform. Anywhere where you are using SQL, then if you are writing a complex SQL query, then you can use CTE to break that complex SQL query into small, small parts and individual part you can use as source of your data and refer that in another select query, right? Kind of sub-query type nature it is having, okay? So CTEs are standard SQL feature, which are essentially temporary named result set, okay? Very, very important. Try to understand this part, okay? So suppose you are having a small select query and that select query result set, whatever it is returning, that is for that result set, you are giving a temporary name and that name you are referring in the future in some other select query as if the result set is acting like a data source, okay? That is nothing but behavior of CTE, okay? When we'll be applying this in real concept soon, then this particular picture or the definition will be much clear to you, okay? So as a pictorial representation, we can say that we are having couple of inline views. Inline views means we are defining the view in the same query where we are using that, okay? So maybe inline view one, inline view two, inline view three and so on like that we are having. When we are defining the view in that particular query itself, we are using that, okay? So it is kind of acting like temporary view, okay? So select star from view 1, view 2, view 3, like that you can do some operations on these views and get the final result out of the select query, okay? The default syntax for this kind of CTE or common table expressions are with view 1 or any name you can give as then specify the select query, okay? So whatever the select query will be returning the result set, for that we are giving the temporary name as view1. So that in future we can refer that, okay, if required, okay? Similarly, view2, that is another basically name we are giving to another select query and view3 we are giving to another select query and then finally we are using them as a source of our data in the final select query, okay? So it is kind of like sub-query behavior, but we are giving the name of individual sub-parts, okay, and we are using that. Obviously, it will increase the readability, and using this particular technique, basically, you can split a very big complex query into small, small chunks, okay. And common table expressions are so beautiful that suppose you are giving the view 1 for this particular select query result set name, and while creating view 2, in this particular select query also, you can use view1, okay? That is, view1 you define for one particular result set, then to create another view, basically you can refer this particular stuff, okay? That is, here you can do view2 as select star from view1 and then apply some uh, transformation or curation on data, okay? Right, so this is the fundamental syntax. Make sure you are using with clause in the beginning and then if you want to give multiple names for multiple result set, just you give the name as then the query, comma, name as the query, comma, name as the query, like that, so on. Okay, now let's see one implementation of that, okay? So suppose we are having a family tree like this, so Roger and Mike, okay, these two persons have two children, okay? One is Jen, another one is Matt, okay? Now, Jin married with Mike, okay? And they are having two children. One is Jill, one is John, okay? So, I hope this is the family structure which is clear to you. Now, suppose what is the business requirement like that if our data is there, then the business requirement is for a particular input, find out the grandparent, okay? That is, suppose I am giving input Jill, then it should be returning Roger and mine. Okay. So what is grandparent? Grandparent are nothing but parents of parent. Okay. So what you have to do, you have to write such a SQL query, which will find the father and mother of Jill first, which is Jane and Mike. 
then the query will try to find father and mother of Jin as well as Mike. That is paternal grandparents as well as maternal grandparents. Both is required as outcome. Okay. That's the business requirement. Suppose. So what you can do? Just simple way you can consider. Suppose this is your data. So as you can see, it is having name column and then father column and mother column. Okay. So Roger and Mike. Okay. As per the family tree, they are in the top level. Okay. So their parents for their parents, we have no data. Right. Then here Jen. So if you see this particular diagram, Jen's parent is basically Roger and Mai as well as Matt's parent is Roger and Mai. Okay. So if you see Jen, for Jen father is Roger and mother is Mai. Right. As well as for Matt, the father is Roger and mother is Mai. Okay. So that means Jen and Matt are basically uh, brother sister of each other like that. Okay. Then there is Mike. Who is Mike? Mike is basically this person. Okay. Mike's parents, we don't have any information. Okay. So for Mike, it is null null. Okay. Right. And then Jen married with Mike and their children are basically Jill and John. Okay. So you can see for both Jill and John, the parent are basically father and mother names are basically Mike and Jen. Okay, right. So this particular family tree in terms of data set is represented like this. I hope it is very clear to you. Okay. Now, suppose the business requirement is finding the grandparents of Jin. Okay. So what are grandparents? I told you just now parents of parent. Okay. So to find out parent of Jill, it is very simple. Okay. Suppose the table name is A. What we can do? Select star or select father comma mother from A where the name is Jill. Okay. So if we apply this simple filter condition, we can get the output as Mike and Jen. Okay. And suppose that result set, we are having like this Mike and Jen. Now, actual requirement is finding the grandparent. Okay. For Jill. So for Jill, we've already found out who are their parents, Mike and Jen. Now we need to go one more level up in this hierarchical architecture, right? So now we have to find out father and mother of Mike as well as father and mother of Jen. Okay. So how you can do that? Because Mike is available as name here, as you can see, and Jen is available as name here. Basically, these two rows we have to get somehow so that we can give output that for Jen, the parents are Roger and Mike, which is basically a grandparent of Jill from one side, then for Mike, it is basically null and null. So you can return null from Mike's side, right? And that you can easily do. You can basically apply cross join. Okay, so what are cross join? Cross join are nothing but type of join that returns the Cartesian product of rows from the tables in the join. Okay, or in other words, we can say it combines each row from the first table with each row from the second one, right? That is nothing but fundamental concept of SQL, what we know. So what we'll do first, we will apply cross join between these two tables. Okay. And we will be getting this kind of set, right? So just see here name we are taking. And if you consider this table as A and this one as B for both of them, father is a common column, mother is a common column. So to avoid the conflict or confusion with respect to SQL, we are just changing the name. So for this particular parent table, we are giving the father name as original father, original mother. And for this particular derived table, we are giving the father and mother column name as CTE mother, CTE father. Okay. Here both came as mother actually. One should be CTE father, one should be CTE mother. Okay. Like that, suppose we got the table. So B is basically nothing but we are deriving from A as common table expression. Okay. Maybe you can define with view one as then how we derived B that particular logic you can write inside the select statement. What we discussed here that is in this particular query. Okay. Now we are having two objects in our snowflake. One is A, one is B and we applied cross join. So when we apply cross join, what will basically happen? Basically, if you see that each row from uh, first table A is basically combined with each row from the second table B. So as you can see the for the first table, it is Roger null null. So here also we are getting Roger null null. And from the second table, it is Mike and Jen. Here we are getting Mike and Jen. Then the second row is my null null. So here it is coming my null null. And then here Mike and Jen, Mike and Jen. So here all the elements are Mike, Jen, Mike, Jen, Mike, Jen. Just basically we combine with the first table. Okay. Now suppose the cross join result we are getting like this, 
Now it is very simple to find out parent of Mike and parent of Jen. How? What we can do? We can apply a filter condition on this cross join result set. That is, if name equal to equal to CTE father. Actually, this is CTE not mother. Okay. Uh, so just to avoid confusion, here this is basically CTE father. Okay. So here name name column is equal to equal to CTE father. When it will happen? So it will happen for this case. Okay. So see here, Mike. This name is basically matching with the CTE father. That way. If you then extract the father and mother for which the name column is matching with city father, you will be getting the parent of Mike. Okay. As well as you have to apply this particular in the filter condition as a or name column equal to city mother column. Okay. So mother column is Jen. Okay. So when where it will be matching, it will be matching here. Okay. So mother column and name column will match for this row. So Jen. We will be getting Roger and Mike. Okay. So what I am telling as a first step, we will be deriving one particular inline view B by simply filtering on the name for which grandparent we want to detect. So first we will extract the parent for that particular entity for which we want to detect the grandparent and the parent result is set. We are storing in B. Okay. Then we will apply cross join and then we will apply in the cross chain result set, we will apply filter condition that is either name column equal to CTE father or name column equal to CTE mother. That way, we can get basically parent of the B object which we created using CTE. That's what we are doing here. That way, we can get the parent of Jane and Mike. Now, let me show you in Snowflake, it will be much clear to you. So, first step what we are doing drop database if you exist Ramu. And then here we are creating the database, then we are using the Ramu database, and then here suppose the family name is Smith family. Okay. Now we are creating the DDL, we are executing. Now here we are inserting the data in it, like very simple. And then if we execute select star from Smith, we are having our data. Okay. Now what is the requirement? Suppose the requirement is finding out the Grandparent of John. Okay. So what we will do first? We will try to find out parent of John. So select father, comma mother from Smith's where name equal to John. First simple SQL query will execute and we got the parents. Okay. Then we will basically combine this particular row with all the row of the parent table Smith. Okay. So here see the CTE beauty. Okay. Common table expression with hello testing as select father comma mother from smith when name equal to john basically this particular select query whatever it is returning as result set for that result set we are giving the name as hello testing okay once that is done here what we are doing select s dot name comma s dot father as original father comma s dot mother as original mother comma p dot father as cte father Okay, and p dot mother as CTE mother from Smith S. So for the original table Smith, we are giving the name S, the alias name S. Cross join hello testing p. What is p? P is basically the result set of this particular query. Okay, so if we apply cross join, let's see what we are getting. When we are applying cross join, we are getting this kind of result set. And our final intention is finding the parent of Mike and Jen. Okay. So, how we can find the parent of Mike and Jen? Basically, we need to find out where name equal to CTE father and name equal to CTE mother. So, name equal to CTE father will be having for this particular row for which we will be getting the parent name for Mike. And for Jen, we can basically get this particular row. How we will be getting? Basically, the original name should be equal to CTE mother name. Right? So, that we can apply and the query becomes this much simple with hello testing as select father comma mother from smiths where name equal to john select is dot father comma is dot mother we are just only taking the grandparents name from smith is cross join hello testing p where 
एस डॉट नेम इक्वल टू फादर दैट इज नेम इक्वल टू सी टी फादर और एस डॉट नेम इक्वल टू पी डॉट मदर बेसिकली द ओरिजिनल नेम इज नथिंग बट सी टी मदर सी टी मदर इज नथिंग बट पी डॉट मदर राइट पी डॉट मदर इज नथिंग बट वॉट मदर नेम वी आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम दिस सी टी दर इज कॉमन टेबल एक्सप्रेशन राइट सो इफ आई ना एक्सिक्यूट हियर वील बी गेटिंग ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स ऑफ जॉन सी ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स ऑफ जॉन इज नथिंग बट रॉजर एंड माई इफ यू सी दिस पर्टिकुलर हायर की grandparent of john and nothing but roger and mike because for mike the parent information is not there here we are getting null null okay even you can try with jill so if you see this particular one for jill also the grandparent is roger and mike and for with respect to mike's side it will be null okay so if i execute with respect to jill we will be getting roger and mike and null null okay right so this is how basically you can use common table expression okay in line view you can consider so just we are giving the result set of this particular select query a name and that name we are using in our next transformation or business logic extraction okay even as i told you that suppose you are giving one particular city here and in the next part you can use that city to create another city okay so that you can consider like multi level common table expression so this particular stuff you can derive like this way also so first we will be extracting the immediate parents for john and then we will be extracting the grandparents as well so how we can calculate basically grandparents as so this is another cte select father and mother from smith where name equal to basically we are taking the father name from this particular select query or name equal to the mother name okay that's what basically the logic for the grandparent right so select father and mother of uh, mother from smith where name equal to john is giving john's fathers or mother's information okay the, then to find john's father or mother's father and mother that is to find john's grandparent we can basically take the, this particular inner query that is select father comma mother from smith family where name equal to select father from parents which is basically nothing but resulting the father of john or name equal to the mother of john which is basically stored in the parent table so that way you can see multi level common table expressions also you can use just one time with clause we have to use and then next time onwards comma comma we have to use okay each time give some name as the select expression and then you can refer one particular common table expression to create another common table expression like see here we created parents and to create the grandparents common table expression here we are using the first common table expression okay and then we are selecting the father and mother from grandparents so if i execute same result will be getting roger my null null even if i execute to chill here also will be getting the same result so that way common table expression is very helpful to work with hierarchical data not only that to simplify any complex sql queries instead of sub queries you can use this particular stuff i hope you understood this this is all for this video i will try to cover some more important concept with respect to sql and especially for complex side which will help you with respect to interview process this is all for this particular video thank you for watching